Hey guys, Jay here with Word of Advice TV, and in this video, I want to talk about what to do if the blower motor is stuck. And I'm talking about the scenario where you're replacing the blower motor, and as you're taking it out, it gets stuck. So either the squirrel cage hub is stuck to the shaft of the blower motor, or as it's sliding out, something is snagging it and preventing it from coming off of that blower wheel. And before I continue, if you're a little bit mad that I didn't film the part where I pulled this blower motor housing out of my furnace, don't worry, I actually have a video where I replaced my blower motor on this same furnace. So if you want to see that part, just go ahead and check that video out. In that video, I go step by step, I film the whole process of how I replaced the blower motor. And also, a quick safety reminder, besides turning the power to the furnace off when you're replacing any parts on a furnace, I would also recommend wearing some gloves, especially when you're dealing with the blower motor or any of the components here. Because the sheet metal, even though it's not very sharp on the housing or on the squirrel cage, you know, the blower wheel blades, even though they're not very sharp, if your hand slips and you swipe it across that sheet metal, it will cut you right open. I was painfully reminded of this just a couple days ago. So anyway, let's begin the video. I'm going to split this up into three categories, basically three levels. First level is a blower motor that is hard to take out. This happens quite a bit. Second level is a blower motor that is very hard to take out. This happens pretty rarely. And third level is a blower motor that is practically impossible to take out. Luckily, that does not happen very often at all. It rarely ever happens. So let's start with level one. So you got your blower motor housing out. Here's your blower motor. I already took the screws out that hold it down. And of course, before you can take it out, you have to loosen the set screw on the other side. By the way, oftentimes if I cut myself, it's when I'm doing this part right here. But of course, if you're wearing gloves, you're not gonna get cut anyway but loosen the set screw that basically holds the shaft of the motor to the blower wheel. So after you have the set screw loosened, you can flip this housing over again. And optimally, if everything goes well, you should be able to pull the motor right out. like that. And usually this motor does not slide out that easily if you didn't do anything ahead of time and I'll show you what I mean by that. Let's start with level one. Let's say that your motor is actually stuck and you're having a hard time pulling it out. So sometimes um, you know I've even had to once in a while put my feet on it. If you're gonna put both feet on it if you're like squatting on top of this thing make sure you're standing on basically the welded parts. If you bend the housing, that causes more problems. If you're standing on it or you have your foot on it and you still can't yank it out, you're just banging on it like that. If you ever struggled with a blower motor before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Let's say you are struggling to take that blower motor out. Here's what you can do to help yourself out. Let's flip this over. So here's your blower motor shaft. And the first thing I would do if your motor is stuck, in fact, actually recently I just started doing this every time to prevent the blower motor getting stuck altogether. The very first thing you do when you, lessen, when you loosen up the set screw right here, the very first thing you do is put on a crescent wrench. Make sure the jaws are flat. Put on a crescent wrench on the blower motor shaft and then spin that blower wheel. This action alone will help you out a ton. So if the shaft is actually stuck to the hub of that blower wheel, just doing that will free it up and usually just that alone is enough to pull that blower motor out. But besides that, every technician should also have a little rag in their bag. I also wipe down the shaft from any dust or other dirt that's on it. And I also push down on the blower wheel so it goes all the way down. I wipe it all down. And then just for an extra measure, I take a sandpaper belt. And I sand down the shaft 
just sanded down so it's nice and shiny. There's nothing protruding on it, no little shavings of metal. And then if you want things to go extra smooth, you can take some Zoom Spout oil and just put some oil. I'm not gonna put it on mine, but you can put some oil on top of the shaft and let it run down and seep into the hub right here. So just oil it up. You can spin the wheel some more, put your crescent wrench on it, spin the wheel in there so it exercises it and gets the oil in there. Once you have it all oiled up, you have it sanded down, you have it cleaned, you should be able to flip it over and that blower motor is gonna come out real nice and easy. One more thing I wanna warn about though is alligator wrenches or tooth wrenches. If you put one of these tooth wrenches on the shaft because you don't have a crescent handy for some reason, if you leave marks on this shaft, there's no way you're gonna be able to pull that motor out of that wheel. I only did that mistake once. If you leave any tooth marks on that blower motor shaft, you're not gonna be able to take it out. But if you're watching this video because you already did that mistake, what you could do is take a file and just sand down the shaft real good from all sides. Just keep sanding it or filing it down real good. Or if you have some coarse sandpaper, just sand it down real good until those bite marks are pretty much gone. And then you should be able to take that blower motor out, especially if you oil it on top of that. Okay, so for level one, where the blower motor is just hard to pull out, usually it can be resolved just by oiling it, by loosening it with a wrench, cleaning the shaft with some sandpaper and a rag, and if you need to, file it down a little bit. File down the shaft, and that will make the blower motor a lot easier to pull out. Now, if you did all these things, you said please and you were polite to it and nothing is working, you have to move on to step number two, or level two. If none of these things are working and your blower motor is still not coming out, the next thing you can do is use a hub puller. And the purpose of the hub puller is solely to pull out stubborn blower motors. So here's the case that I have from it. I always keep it in a bag. This one is called the Ultimate Puller. There's a few different brands. I just like this one the most. I've been using it for the last couple of years and had good luck with it. It has a long Allen wrench key, which I barely ever use. And it has these hooks with it too. So these four hooks are actually for condenser fan motors on air conditioners outside. And they come in useful as well because sometimes the fan blade on the condenser fan motor is really stuck on as well. You can use these little hook adapters to pull that one off. But in this video, I'm only gonna show you an example of how to use this one on a furnace blower motor. By the way, if you're a technician and you don't have one of these, I would highly recommend it as it will save your day one of these days. And if you already have one of these, and for some reason this thing, the threads, they spin really coarsely or they get stuck after a couple of spins, all you gotta do is just apply some of this Zoom Spout oiler right on the threads. And then just spin it all the way in, spin it all the way out, and that should take care of that problem. But anyway, what you wanna do is take this long screw out, or back it out, and you can kinda see inside of it. Just back it out to a good degree and make sure that these screws right here, the set screws are all inside of the wall of the hub puller. And then you can go ahead and set it. And actually for this, you do have to take out this set screw as well. So it's not in the way. The one that attaches the hub to the blower motor shaft. You take that out. And then when you're putting on your hub puller, just make sure that neither one of these three screws line up with that hole where I took the set screw out from. And as you can see, my hub puller is not going on all the way. And that's because I didn't back it out far enough. So let's back this screw out some more. Okay, so now my hub puller goes all the way down to this level. Next thing you wanna do is just tighten down all of these set screws right here, which fastens the hub puller to the hub of that blower wheel or the squirrel cage. Of course, try to tighten each one of them equally. And after you fastened it as much as you could with your fingers, next you can either use that Allen key that came with the kit, 
or just a little crescent wrench to tighten up those bolts nice and tight. I personally prefer using a crescent wrench. It's just a little bit quicker, especially if you have a ratcheting one, then it really makes life easier. So after you finger tightened it, just use a crescent wrench to tighten it all the way down so it's really firm, nice and snug. Once you have the puller tightly secured, you can now start to screw in this main bolt up on top here. I don't know what the exact name of it is. Basically what this screw does is pushes the shaft or the motor out of the blower wheel or the squirrel cage. It works very slick. I use this quite a bit on stubborn motors. And sometimes it also helps to put two 2x4s or something to prop up the blower motor housing on either side so that motor can just plop out. Otherwise, you're not only pushing the motor out, you're also lifting the whole housing along with it. So tighten that down even more. And sometimes this can be really stiff, it's just that my motor has already been out, so it comes out pretty easy. And once you have it out all the way, as you can see, the housing tilts. That means the motor is completely out. So if we flip this over... You can see that my motor is out, and if we look at this side, there's the end of the hub puller that pushed that shaft of the motor out. And of course, once you have the motor out, you can go ahead and just work your way backwards. Take this screw out, loosen up the three bolts, take your hub puller off, and put the new motor in and you are good to go. All right, so that was level two. If your blower motor is being really stubborn, then you can use a hub puller to pull it out. Now, I've only had this happen to me a couple times, but I've had a few times where even with the hub puller, I was not able to pull the blower motor out. So I would put the hub puller on, I would tighten it down a lot. Like I would have to tighten it down really hard because it kept slipping. Sometimes I would even use a big wrench, you know, for the leverage to the point where these bolts actually burrowed themselves in to the hub. And when I cranked it in, those bolts that were actually burrowed inside of that hub, they actually scratched their way all the way out of that hub. So instead of pushing this shaft through, they actually just made holes on the sides of this hub. So in that case, if even a hub puller is not able to pull it out, your only choice, really, is to just break this blower wheel apart and pull out the motor that way. And the way I usually do this, I've only had to do it maybe three or four times in the past, but whenever I had to do it, the easiest way for me is to actually take like a flathead screwdriver or a chisel or something, and then where this center ring is welded onto the blades of the wheel, just start whacking it. Usually one side is enough, or sometimes you can just break off both sides. So basically what you're trying to do is break off this ring or this circle from the blades. Once you've done that, you can bend down the circle a little bit on both sides and the blower motor should come out along with the circular piece. And then you can slide out the blower wheel and you finally got it out. Of course, the downside of having to do this is that you have to replace the blower wheel or the squirrel cage as well which is usually not as readily available as the motors. And as much as I would love to show you an example of how to break that center ring out, there's absolutely nothing wrong with my motor or my blower wheel, so I don't want to mangle it for no reason. But hopefully this will never happen to you and you won't have to break anything out. Most of the time you can get away with just using a hub puller. So that was level three, where it's practically impossible to pull the blower motor out and you have to end up just busting it out. Well guys, and that is all I had for you today. I hope you found this video useful, and if you're a technician watching this, and you have further tips or suggestions of how to deal with stubborn blower motors, please let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to mash that like button on the way out, and I'll see you next time. I didn't enlist in the army, I was drafted. So I wasn't gonna make life easy for anyone. 
When I was going through my physical, the doctor asked me softly, Can you read the letters on the wall? What letters? I answered slyly. Very good, said the doctor. You passed the hearing test.